In this video, we're going to look at some basic properties of logarithms. Um, in particular, we're going to develop and use some basic properties of logarithms, as well as look at the one-to-one -one property and how to use that to solve basic logarithmic equations. Because logarithms are simply exponents viewed in a different way, many of the standard properties of exponents can be translated to properties of logarithms. Here we'll look at some of those basic properties. One of those basic properties says that the log base b of 1 will always equal 0. And um, this is true for any base b, including base 10 or base e for the common and natural log. And the reason for this is quite simple. If we convert this statement to a state to exponential form, we see that this would be the same thing as saying b to the 0 power equals 1. And this is something that we know is true um, for exponential functions. Um, we know b rate any number b raised to the 0 power is always equal to z, is always equal to 1. Um, and therefore the logarithm the corresponding logarithmic property log base b of 1 equals 0 is also true for any base b. Similarly, we can see that log base b of b is going to equal 1. Again, if we translate this to a property or to exponential form, we see that this translates to the statement that b to the first power equals b. And this is certainly something that is true in exponential form, and therefore the corresponding log property, log base b of b equals 1, is also true. We can generalize this, this second property a bit to say that the log base b of b to any power x will always be x. Again, if we translate this to exponential form, we get a statement that says b, the base b raised to the x power will equal b to the x power. Right? This looks like a very silly statement to write because, of course, b to the x equals b to the x. Um, but um, each of the b to the x's come from a different part of the logarithm. One of them comes from raising the base b of the logarithm to the value of the logarithm, and the other comes from the number inside the logarithm. And so since those are equal, um, the, this property of logs will also hold. The last property that we'll talk about here is sort of what happens if we combine an exponential and log in the other way. In property three, we've put an exponential b to the x inside a logarithm. We could also ask what would happen if we put a logarithm inside an exponential. In other words, we raise the number b to the log base b of x power. In this case, we also get x. And in order to justify this, what we would do is convert this actually into exponential or into logarithmic form. Um, so we have a base b, so we're going to have the log base b. Um, the thing that we're going to take the logarithm of is x. That's the number on the right side of the, the identity that we're looking at. And that's going to equal the exponent that b is being raised to, which is the log base b of x. So again, we get sort of a, non, a nonsensical statement here. Um, but um, again, these two logs come from different things. The log on the left side comes from the base of the exponential raised to the value of the exponential, so log base b of x. And the other side is the exponent, what the actual logarithm is equal to. And so these are our four basic properties of logarithms uh, that can be used for any base b. So for this example, we want to evaluate log base 3 of 27 to the 12th power. To use the definition of logarithm to do this, we would have to write 27 to the 12th power as 3 to some number, and that number would be the value of this logarithm. However, we, have, we can observe that 27 is a power of 3 itself. And so we can simply rewrite this as the log base 3 of the number 3 cubed, which is 27 to the 12th power. Inside the logarithm, we have a power raised to a power. Um, so we can multiply those exponents. And this becomes 3 to the 36th power, 3 times 12. Well, now we have exactly what we want. We have a, the log base b, in this case b is 3, of b to the x power. 
And so we can simply um, use the property from the previous screen to observe that this is going to equal 36. There's nothing else here to do. Um, we've rewritten 27 to the 12th as 3 to the 36th, and then use the fact that the log base 3 of 3 to some power x is always equal to that number x, and here that x is 36. For another example, let's evaluate 7 raised to the log base 7 of 123 um, to that power. Here again, we have an exponential of base 7 raised to the log base 7 of some number, uh, 123. And the fourth property that we saw on the previous slide says what we can do in this exact situation. And it says that the, raising, the 7 and the log base 7 actually cancel themselves out. And we're just left with 123. There's really no work here. Um, what we're being asked to find is what we get if we raise 7 to the number that is defined to be the exponent of 7 that gives 123. Well, based on that definition, if we raise 7 to that number, we're going to get 123, and that's exactly what this property indicates will happen. Another important property of logarithms um, indicated at the top of the screen here is called the one-to-one -one property. Um, it simply says that if I have the log base b of m and the log base b of n, and those are equal, then the two expressions or numbers m and n must also be equal. Of course, the reverse, um, lo, uh, the reverse statement is true as well. If m and n are equal, then the log of m and the log of n must also be equal. Uh, but usually this is used in the forward direction by, state, by starting with the fact that two logarithms are equal and concluding that the resulting arguments of the logarithms are also equal. Now, this property is most often used to solve equations involving logarithms. For example, suppose we wanted to solve the equation log base 3 of 3x equals log base 3 of 2x plus 5. The first thing that we need to notice, and this is an important observation, is that these um, logarithms are the same base, in this case base 3. It's really important that whatever the base is, that it is the same um, for both of the logarithms under consideration. Now, the two numbers, the two expressions that we're taking the logarithms of here, 3x and 2x plus 5, they're playing the role of m and n in this example. Um, what we can use this, this property to do is conclude that those um, expressions are equal. And so from this equation, we can conclude that 3x equals 2x plus 5. This has completely eliminated the logarithms from the equation. There's no more logarithms on either side. We're just left with a simple linear equation. In this case, we can simply subtract 2x from both sides and obtain that, two, that x is equal to 5. Um, so x turns out to be the, or sorry, 5 turns out to be the only solution for this particular equation. Um, and this is going to be um, a, a very useful tool a uh, very useful property in solving other equations like this that might have different logarithms of the same base set equal to each other.